We're here on a UK nursery today to look at a new product from ICL, Vine Weevil Seeker. Vine Weevil Seeker is powered by BASF technology and is based on the beneficial nematode Heterorhabditis bacteria flora, which is produced here in the UK. Vine Weevil Seeker provides effective control of the black vine weevil larva Autorhynchus solcatus, which is present in many container crops. Using ICL's Vine Weevil Seeker in combination with advice from the ICL technical team provides a number of great benefits to help you protect your crops. ICL's Vine Weevil Seeker provides fast and effective natural curative control. Now we're at a time when more and more chemical controls are being withdrawn from the market, so it's very important that growers look to effective IPM solutions. Now when using ICL Vine Weevil Seeker, control of the pest larvae can be achieved at all times they are present in the crop. The ICL technical experts can help you manage this process for vine weevil control. ICL has a full complement of products and technical advice for this pest. Vine Weevil Seeker is a robust and efficacious nematode for vine weevil larva control. It's produced to the highest standards at the BASF production facility in Littlehampton, so growers can be assured of the highest quality product. Due to Vine Weevil Seeker being a biological product, there are no pest resistant issues. This nematode is the natural enemy of vine weevil, and when applied in the right way, in the right conditions, will provide very effective control. Nematodes are temperature dependent, so knowing the temperature of the growing media before application can be crucial to ensure you select the correct product. Vine Weevil Seeker provides effective control between 12 and 30 degrees Celsius. Now for cooler temperatures, down to 5 degrees Celsius, we recommend the use of Vine Weevil Seeker CT, cold tolerance. ICL can help you with more accurate temperature readings so that you can choose the most effective and cost-effective nematode solution for vine weevil control. Now it's a warm sunny day today and we can use temperature loggers to measure temperature over time. The air temperature today is 33.9 but when we look at the grow media temperature it's only just over 20 degrees. So pot temperatures are much more stable than air temperatures. Our experienced and qualified team can help you install loggers within your crop for you to monitor the temperatures within the pot. Now this will enable you to have a better understanding of when to apply the correct product at the right time. Application advice. Make sure the pest larvae is present before ordering. Notching on the leaves are signs of adult feeding. Eggs are too small to notice. Make sure you know the vine weevil life cycle and the times of year when the various stages are present. Growing media temperatures should be between 12 and 30 degrees for at least two weeks after application. If below 12 degrees and above 5 degrees, ICL recommend ICL Vine Weevil Seeker CT cold tolerance. Routinely monitor new materials coming onto the nursery that may contain black vine weevil larvae and treat accordingly. The growing media should be moist before application. When applying, we would recommend a drench application, especially where the canopy is very dense. If the product is applied over foliage, irrigate immediately with water to wash the nematodes into the growing media. To optimise efficacy and minimise wastage, we would recommend the use of ICL's patented penetrant transporter. Precautions. Agitate nematodes constantly during application. Do not use the product if past the expiry date or it has been incorrectly stored. Do not apply in direct sunlight, which could kill the nematodes. It's best to apply early morning or later in the evening if it's a bright day. Depending on the scale, the scale of the operation, you could be using, in a domestic situation, obviously a watering can, but more likely in a propagation situation, you might, might use a knapsack or a dosatron attached to a, a spray tank or even through the overheads. We're here today looking at a dosatron, um, but other models are available. This is a typical nursery model and I'm just going to talk you through the ways to use it. Um, the first thing is to look at the setting. Here we've got it set at 1 in 100, which is perfect. And the next thing to look at is filters. Normally on the suction hose you would have a filter, so we've taken that off. But it's really any small micron filters below 50 microns that you want to remove, um, particularly in the spray tank. Now when you're adding nematodes to the tank, it's important that they're constantly agitated. Now this particular sprayer has a built-in agitator 
Um, but on a smaller system, you could use a manual paddle wheel or, or stirrer just to keep them agitated or even an air pump. Now, a key factor to consider with nematode application is nozzle choice. If we were applying nematodes to the foliage as, as a foliar spray for say western flower thrip, we would use probably one of these red flat fan nozzles with a medium application rate. Um, but more commonly, we're applying nematodes for vine weevil control. So this is a much heavier nozzle and it's important that the aperture with these nozzles is more than half a millimetre. It's important to consider that nematodes are living organisms, so we have to be careful of the pressure. Now we don't want pressures exceeding 300 psi. Now this shouldn't, shouldn't be a problem in a typical nursery situation. This particular sprayer has a maximum rating of 100 psi and typically runs at about 80 psi. Now it's really important before you use the product that you refer to the ICL product information sheet. There's lots of detailed information um, and it's also repeated on the ICL Protect website. An extra consideration when you're using overhead irrigation to apply nematodes is the fact that your dosatron might be in a central location and it could take time for the nematodes to arrive at the nozzle. Now you can obviously need to calibrate how long it takes for the nematodes to get here. So you could use a food dye or alternatively you could attach the, the dosatron directly to the bed so that it applies it straight onto the bed. If you are applying a food dye obviously you want to wash it off when you wash the nematodes off. Now this particular spray tank is used solely for biological products such as nematodes, but on many nurseries a tank is going to be shared between other pesticides such as fungicides, insecticides and herbicides. And in those situations it's very important to clean the tank out before you use a biological product or you will impair the efficiency of the product. And we have a new product called Spotless Nursery which is great for cleaning the tank out and the lines and ensuring that the tank is safe to use. When you clean the tank out, it's important to follow the regulations and, and dispose of any tank washings in an approved manner. Fungus Nat Seeker, powered by BASF technology, is based on the beneficial nematode Steinonema feltii, which is produced here in the UK. Providing control of fungus gnats, commonly known as scarid fly, when applied as a drench. Using Fungus Nat Seeker in combination with advice from our technical team gives a number of great benefits to help you protect your crops. At a time when chemical pesticides are being withdrawn from the market, it's vitally important that growers adopt effective IPM procedures. When using Fungus Nat Seeker, control of scarred fly larvae can be achieved at all times when they are present within the crop. The pest has a 28 day life cycle. Fungus Nat Seeker is a robust and efficacious beneficial nematode for the control of scarred fly larvae. Produced to the highest standards at the BASF facility in Littlehampton, growers can be assured of a high quality product. Due to Fungus Nat Seeker being a natural product, there are no pest resistance issues. This nematode is the natural enemy of fungus gnats and applied in the correct way, in the right conditions, will give very effective control. Fungus Nat Seeker is temperature dependent and therefore knowing grow media temperatures before application can be essential. It is important to remember that Fungus Nat Seeker gives high levels of control between 10 and 30 degrees Celsius. Application advice. Make sure the pest is present before ordering and applying the product. You will see more in propagation areas. Watch out for adults. Sticky traps, particularly yellow ones, are a good monitoring tool. The larvae look like a glass worm when you knock the pot out. Look for weakened roots. Routinely monitor new materials coming onto the nursery and treat accordingly, especially new plugs. Grown media temperatures should be between 10 degrees and 30 degrees Celsius for at least two weeks after application. The grown media should be moist. When applying, we would recommend a drench application, especially where the canopy is dense. If the product is applied over foliage, irrigate immediately with water to wash the nematodes into the growing media. To optimise efficacy and minimise wastage, we would recommend the use of ICL's patented penetrant transporter. A programmed approach is recommended due to the short nature of the fungus nap life cycle. We're here today in a UK nursery to look at the foliar application of beneficial nematodes. In this case, fungus gnat seeker for the integrated control of western flower thrip. Now it's important when spraying that the, the spray tank is clean and it's particularly important with biological organisms. In this case we're using a, a knapsack sprayer and this could have been used for lots of things before. So I would recommend that you clean it with 
ICL spotless nursery. Now once you've ensured that the spray tank is clean, it's important to look at the filters. Um, and when you're using nematodes, we really want to rem remove these fine filters and consider which nozzle to use. So in this case, the knapsack has a, has a flat fan nozzle. It's a black one, it's quite a high output one. And typically we'd use it for drenching nematodes onto pots. But in this case, we're better off using a, a red one, which is a lower application flat fan. And this is more suitable for applying as a foliar spray. Okay, now we've checked the sprayer and we've got it ready to go. But considering the conditions, it's a bright sunny day. It's actually over 35 degrees in this glass house. So this isn't the time to be spraying. We should be spraying early in the morning or, or late, later at night when it's cooler. And when we're applying fungus gnat seeker um, on, onto foliage as a control of western flower thrip, we really want to maximize the time that the nematodes are on the leaves before they dry out. And we do everything we can to manipulate the conditions. So we close the vents down. If we had a glass house with blackout screens, we pull them across. Um, we just keep the humidity up as high as possible to get the best control. To maximise the efficiency of the Seeker Beneficial Nematode range, we recommend using Transporter when applying to your plants. Transporter is ICL's revolutionary penetrant, which aids nematode dispersal within the growing media following application. Putting the nematodes where they are needed, increasing efficacy and reducing waste. The transporter has been independently tested to ensure there are no negative effects on beneficial nematode species. It works quickly with peat, peat reduced and peat free growing media and it's a highly concentrated product with 88% surfactant allowing for superior performance. In summary, ICL's transporter will aid your beneficial nematode application and help keep your plants healthy and safe throughout the growing season. Hi, I'm Tom Goddard, Fermentation Manager for BASF at our crop protection site here in Littlehampton. Welcome. BASF's crop protection site in Littlehampton has been based here for 30 years and it's the largest specialist nematode production facility in the world and the only one in Britain. The whole production process begins in the laboratories. We grow six nematode species at the facility and the laboratory process starts by passing nematodes through an insect in order to prove their efficacy. Only the nematodes that kill the host are used. The team are also continually working on formulation packaging improvements here in the laboratories, as well as teaming up with local and international researchers to discover new and potentially useful species. We pride ourselves on the quality of our nematode products. Quality control ensures that all stages of the production process perform to the highest standards. Further detailed quality control is carried out to test quality and performance for example, we test the health and efficacy with the use of a bioassay. We start by mixing a small amount of nematodes with the associated bacterium specific to the species. We control the conditions of the flask cultures specifically to each of the species requirements, including temperature, aeration, nutrients and many other factors. The nematode and bacterium have a symbiotic relationship, as the bacterium is stored in the gut of the nematode and assists the nematode upon feeding on its host. In the flask culture, it multiplies. Once it reaches maturity, it's used to seed the fermentation stage. Here we prepare the food source in which the nematodes will grow. The food or media is similar to that used in the flasks, but on a much larger scale. Again, this is specific for each species of nematode that we grow. Once mixed, the media passes through this uniquely designed steriliser and directly into the sterile fermenter. The whole process takes the best part of a day to complete for our larger fermenters. We recently doubled our existing production capacity due to strong demand for Nemesis and Nemeslug products and have the potential to grow a further 50%. We now have over 190,000 litres of fermentation capacity on site and that can hold a total of 40 trillion nematodes. It is here that large scale mass production takes place. The fermenters that we use are specifically designed to meet the needs of our nematodes. Our team carefully define and control the environment to maximise the growth of the nematodes. We do this by controlling many factors including temperature and dissolved oxygen. The media, bacteria and flask inoculum are transferred under sterile conditions. Once within the inoculum fermenter, the nematodes multiply considerably. Once this is completed, we make a sterile transfer to the main production vessels. 
This is our largest production vessel with a capacity of 75,000 litres. The 75,000 litre vessel will produce around 8 trillion nematodes per production run, depending on the species. We have a number of other large vessels throughout the factory which vary in size to allow for flexibility within the production process. We have 20 vessels ranging in size from 180 all the way up to 75,000 litres. The fermentation process takes between 14 and 28 days depending upon the species. We avoid cross-contamination with other products or with external contaminants through careful sterilisation techniques. Once completed, the nematodes go through downstream processing before being sent to the wash tanks. To begin the downstream process, the nematode mixture is passed through a bespoke centrifuge which uses centrifugal force to separate the nematodes from the spent fermentation media. After centrifugation, the nematodes are stored in wash tanks where they're kept cool and cleaned. Before we package the nematodes, we remove the water using this filter bed. The nematodes are then mixed with a small amount of inert powder formulant to provide stability and quality. In this room, formulated nematode product is packaged into trays, sealed and immediately refrigerated for storage and distribution. Beneficial nematodes are distributed from here to destinations throughout the world, to users in commercial markets as well as homeowners. Product quality is continually tested and maintained by keeping the product refrigerated and by providing efficient logistics to all of our customers, which is a key BASF skill. Shelf life is dependent upon nematode species, but ranges from one to three months for our customers. BASF. We create chemistry.